How's it going, everyone? It's Fedor wearing Rishi Ram Tactical Knowledge here, and now that the Diamond and Pearl Remakes Storm, as I like to call it, has roughly died down, you know, blown over, I think it's time I finally gave my personal opinion, my personal unbiased opinion, because seriously, in all honesty, I had zero hype, zero, you know, Zero knowledge, zero thinking, zero belief that the Diamond and Pearl remakes were going to happen. And as such, I can safely say that my pers my opinion, you know, at least somewhat matters to the argument over are the Diamond and Pearl remakes good, are they going to be good, etc, etc, etc. Seriously, I got I got no opinion. Seriously, I got no I got no stakes, no nothing regarding the Diamond and Pearl remakes. And as someone who has no opinion whatsoever, I get to safely say that the uproar and people screaming at Nintendo and saying these Diamond and Pearl remakes are bad, just 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 scrolling down looking at some of these the zero ambition with these remakes, no new designs, no new features, and the game looks like a mobile game. What an absolute waste of resources and a disgrace to the original games. Someone here replying with a gif, you know, I'm going to show this gif. Yeah, that's pretty much what I, that's pretty much what I expected. You got, let's see, someone named Toadette replying, bad game. My gosh, I can't believe people are upset. Pokemon fans cannot be pleased, literally. Literally, people, you have been begging, demanding, screaming, hyping for the Diamond and Pearl remakes. The Diamond and Pearl remakes for how many years? Just how many years have you guys been asking Game Freak, or not, yeah, Game Freak, Nintendo, Pokemon Company, whoever... To remake the Diamond and Pearl games. To remake the Diamond and Pearl games with new graphics, etc. Modern, you know, graphics, etc. Make them look cool. Make them look etc, etc. How long have you how long have you all been asking? How long have you all been asking? And I just want to ask you before you actually answer that. This is Game Freak, Pokemon Company, and Nintendo. Do you really think, with the last few games that they've given us, starting with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which was a quote-unquote remake of, you know, Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald to an extent, starting with that, moving on to Alola with Sun and Moon, and then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and... Let's not forget Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which was a quote-unquote remake of the original Red and Blue, though it was more associated with Pokemon Yellow. And let's not forget everyone's favorite Sword and Shield. Are you really going to expect Game Freak, Pokemon Company, Nintendo to go that overboard just just pr just picture what you had in mind for the Diamond and Pearl remix. I believe someone was saying we could get a wild area in the Diamond and Pearl remix. We could get a brand new uh I don't know, a brand new uh battling system or something. We could p potentially get new uh new mega evolutions, etc., etc. We could get this, we could get that. Do you really think Pokemon Company is... Pokemon Company? Game Freak? Nintendo? Are gonna go that big? Are you serious? Yeah, I, I kind of figured that they wouldn't be doing this. Seriously, people. Do we not remember the massive uproar that people had when it came to the tree from Sword and Shield? Have we all forgotten that particular tree? 
Because, trust me, we have not forgotten the tree. We have not forgotten the tree meme, people. We have not forgotten the tree meme. We have not forgotten the tree meme. Seriously. We have not forgotten that tree meme. But don't worry, Pit fans kept saying. It's on, It's still got time. They've still got time to work on it. This is all but this is all game footage not final. They're not they're gonna make some changes. They're gonna fix all this. They're gonna fix all the problems. I wish I could give you I wish I could give you a picture of the look I'm giving you right now. Because that tree is still in the game roughly about two years after, wait, not roughly two years, roughly over a year since release. The tree is still there. When it came to the Diamond and Pearl remakes, you all have no one to blame but yourselves when it came to the hype. All right, you have no one to blame but yourselves for the hype. But don't worry, these games are, you know, Pokemon Legends seems like it's going to be, you know, seems like a seems like a pretty good looking game at least so far. And for those of you who are saying it looks bad, it doesn't look great. It looks like an early alpha. Well, I'm going to pull out the same argument that you all pulled out for Sword and Shield. It's an early game, alright? We still have a year to go. Pokemon Company can make some changes. They can fix all that. We're going to pull the same argument that you all defenders of Sword and Shield used when we were p causing an uproar with the national decks. Have we all forgotten that little incident? All right, they removed a lot of the Pokemon at first over quote unquote balance reasons. What was some of the other reasons? Oh yeah, there was just not enough space for all the Pokemon, which as we turned out, was false because guess who they added right after you know with the first dlc a lot of pokemon and guess who they added right after every single legend in the game practically all right i want to ask you all to look up all the new pokemon that were brought back in the crown tundra update in the crown tundra dlc and I want you to count how many Pokemon came back and then get rid of all the legendary class Pokemon, all the mythical class Pokemon, all the box art legendaries, all the ultra beasts, all the standard legendaries, and then count how many of the remaining Pokemon that came back were not pseudo legendary Pokemon. I'll guarantee you it's less than 20. And that's not counting the species lines. I'm at, that's a, that's me spitballing off the top of my head. All right, everyone is going up in an uproar that the chibi art style looks bad. You want to know something? Here, I'm going to stop this real quick and I'm going to show you something. Alright, are you all watching this? This is red and blue when we start off. We look like a normal trainer at first, and then we get shrunk to chibi size. We get shrunk to chibi size. That's red and blue generation one. Now, here we are again, alright? It's gold and silver. Again, you know, right after Pokemon red and blue. And notice what happens here. We went from looking like a normal sized trainer to a chibi trainer, all right? I think you all know what's happening next. All right, here we are. Notice the normal sized trainer.
We all look normal sized. But when it comes to the overworld, we go from normal sized trainer. Are you paying attention? To shrunk down chibi sized trainer. And the precious Diamond and Pearl that everyone is saying that the Diamond and Pearl remakes are a disgrace. Once again, you just saw we are current. We went. F we are currently normal sized trainer. You know, normal looking trainer. And in the overworld, we look like this chibi sized trainer. We have been going chibi sized or tiny sized. Since red and blue people. They were honest when they said when they were when they were keeping these faithful remasters or remakes of the original Diamond and Pearl games. Alright. There is nothing wrong with us going chibi sized. It's just an art style. All right, people, you had your chance to go and rage when Sword and Shield came out. But do you know what happened with Sword and Shield? We all saw that it was lazy. At least those of us who knew it was lazy. We all knew... That Sword and Shield had very little effort and motivation to it. There was more effort put into the Crown Tundra than in the mainline stories game of Sword and Shield. But everyone bought Sword and Shield. It sold a lot. It sold a lot. In the first week, it outsold pretty much every other game out there. Because everyone was super hyped about it. And the people who did complain, the people who were pointing these things out, nobody listened to us. We were trapped in this in the one argument of yeah if you don't buy, if you don't play it or you don't buy it then you have no opinion on it. And when we did play it and we did point these things out, we did point out the problems. What were we told by the other half or at least the majority of the fan base that liked Sword and Shield? They're saying, "Well, if you hate it, why did you buy it?" Or you're just not happy with anything. All right. We had legitimate reasons. We pointed out legitimate problems. We had constructed criticisms. We had reason to be upset with Sword and Shield. It was quote unquote their first attempt at on the Switch. People were telling me that it is Game Freak's first attempt at the Switch. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Pokemon's first attempt at the Switch. They had Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And they went from properly sized or properly scaled Pokemon to a Waylord that looks smaller than you. They went from a Waylord that is properly scaled in the Sword and Shield Isle of Armor overworld to a Waylord that looks like something you would buy, like a floaty. It looks like a floaty Waylord. It doesn't even look like the largest, fl largest Pokemon on the planet.
you were asking for Diamond and Pearl remakes. And when you finally get them, suddenly it doesn't fit your perfect vision of what the perfect Pokemon game would look like. Gee, I wonder how that felt. You know, when the Sword and Shield fan base was making all the hype about it. And when it came out, it was just corridors, hallways, and the wild area with a brand new feature that lets you rotate the camera in a very limited fashion. They made this big hype about the camera being rotated, this brand new feature. I could rotate my camera in Fable. A very old game. It's not new to me. And I could do a lot, and I could rotate it a lot better. There are areas in the wild area, all three wild areas, where I could be overlooking a cliff and, you know, see the ocean. But when the camera, go, when, the, when I try to rotate the camera, instead I get a very close-up picture of, you know, my face. You know, I don't want to take, I don't want to take a selfie. You know, I want to take a sweeping vista of me over the cliff edge with my Pokemon looking out alongside me, perhaps. You know, looking out towards our future. Instead, I get a selfie. And, oh yeah. There are certain times in my, in the Pokemon battles where my signature Pokemon Reshiram, if it's on the right side in a doubles format, it vanishes completely. It vanishes completely if the opponent is Dynamaxed. With how the camera looks and makes us look up at the Dynamax Pokemon, it makes my Reshiram just completely vanish. It just makes my Reshiram completely vanish. Alright. I'm sorry to everyone that had to endure my ranting. I apologize to everyone that had to endure me just telling people the honest truth. You know, people who were saying this essentially. You had your chance with Sword and Shield. You had your chance to complain with Sword and Shield. You chose to defend it. You gave po you gave Pokemon Company the wrong message when let's see let's take a look how much did Sword and Shield sell yes yeah, sell let's see how much did Sword and Shield sell let's see. 20 million copies. Twenty million copies. Not since gold and silver has a Pokemon game sold more than twenty million copies. And we all know how much fun Sword and Shield was. An obvious villain. A very bland story. Corridors and hallways that didn't let you deviate from the path. The only thing exciting that gave me even the tiniest spark of joy came from Crown Tundra that made me feel like I was on an adventure again that made me feel like a kid again when I played Sword and Shield and I'm playing the Sword and Shield main game again I just want to get I just want to ignore Hop I want to go my own path but I'm not allowed to I have to endure Hop I have to deal with Hop over and over again And I'm I'm sorry I made the, I made this little ranting video. But people need to understand. 
You have no one to blame but yourselves when it comes to the hype. You hyped Diamond and Pearl remakes so much. Literally, every day I was being sent in my recommendations at least one, you know, one video talking about the Diamond and Pearl remakes, what they could have, what they need to have, what they have to have, what they could do, these potential leaks, these potential rumors, etc., etc., And as someone who honestly did not care if they did the Diamond and Pearl remix, someone who honestly had nothing to gain, nothing to, you know, no hype for it, when I saw the Diamond and Pearl remix, I was mildly surprised. And I said, oh, nice. All the people, all the, all the Diamond and Pearl remake people are happy, right? Wrong! Honestly, I like the I like the chibi art style. I think it looks cute, you know, it's the overworld. I'm I'm not going to complain. You know, I don't mind if it's the chib if it's the chibi art style. It certainly is going to look a lot nicer than the sword and shield, you know, overworld when it came to the wild area. It's going to look a lot better. gonna look a little bit better at least they can't mess it up when it comes to the art style like some of these pictures look pretty nice but then I look more detailed and I can just see the tree the same copy pasted tree over and over again same copy pasted tree over and over again like they could have at least made them varied you know, throw a cactus in the middle of some of these. Make them look different. But with the, but with the wild area, I can see the same copy-pasted tree over and over again. Same copy-pasted tree over and over again. Just rotated differently. You know, I don't make games. This is just my opinion. I'm not a professional game maker. But that's one way I learned in, you know, when I was when I was in college, how to make the trees look different, look varied. The least they could have do is, you know, maybe bent the bent the branches differently. Maybe make one tree, you know, broken or something. Make it a stump or something. Make it look like say a Pokemon knocked it down or cut it down. During the middle of a battle. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you all kitties. When I'm not. You know. Feeling grumpy about. Whiny little trainers. Who didn't get what they wanted. From a company that. They should know by now. Isn't going to take a risk. If they don't have to. They took a minor risk. With the wild area. And they didn't risk anything else when it came to the main story game. It was just corridors. It was just empty hallways. There was very little branching. And if it did branch, it just led you straight back. Literally, I think one of the gyms, the first gym, was legit a straight path from Gallermine 1 to the gym. But we couldn't go to the gym because we had to go and talk to Sonya. And Every time I wanted to go somewhere different, there was supposedly a, a a wall blocking my path in the terms of the NPCs saying, "Oh, the bridge is down. Uh, the bridge is damaged. We need to fix it because of Team Yell." When if I walk back a little bit, I can see the bridge is perfectly fine. The least they could have done is like throw a large pile of trash on it. You know, just just throw some rubble, throw some rocks, make it look like the bridge actually is. <sighs> I'll see you all next time. I need to go and take I need to get a drink. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.